What's up guys and welcome to Tampa. I know you're thinking, what does Tampa on a Wednesday have to do with the Rolex 24? You'll see, but first we have to go pick up the Toro. Let's go. I'm gonna try not to make this a car review video because I never wanted to be a car review channel. Well, maybe I should. Those guys get a lot of views. It's still kind of a cheesy car though. Not very Lexus. And I might be spoiled because I worked at Mercedes and BMW, but this doesn't really feel like a luxury car. It feels like a BMW from 2001, but it's a 2017. Hi, how are you doing today? Hey, what's happening? Brian, right? That's me. Awesome. Thanks, man. My pleasure. Hi, Do I friends. Need to hold? <laughs> how do you do that every <laughs> time? <laughs> How do you manage to talk over a video every time? How'd you know I turned around. it on? I don't know. <laughs> Alright friends, what were you gonna say? Go ahead and say it. Cause now I don't trust you. <laughs> I generally regard myself as a smart man. Sometimes I do things that make me question that. And today is one of those times. So I put this cute little TSA lock on. First of all, I don't know why. I didn't check my bag. <laughs> I carried it on. <laughs> but but I put this little TSA lock on there and um, pretty sure the key is in the bag. So <laughs> we're going to remove the lock. <laughs> this is like killing a fly with a shotgun. Uh, I don't know. Just grab the lock like this and hold it. Don't Here goes lock cutting adventure. No gloves. No gloves. No glasses. Oh, I Hold it, bro. Hold it like a man. Hold the pliers while you cut your lock. Be a man. Hey! hey! Let's see if I can find the key now. Let's see. How Not that I need the key anymore, but I want to see if it's here. We made it! We made it! <laughs> yeah! We're at Daytona International Speedway. Um, it is, what time is it? It is currently 11.58. We got here a little later than we wanted to. Uh, we parked close. I mean, we're right, we're parked there and the speedway's there. So if hey we guys, need to go back to the- to my YouTube channel. It's Justin and Brian. If we, we're here at Daytona he doesn't Speedway. Shut the yeah. So we're entering at the Chevrolet gate. As a reminder, uh, the race doesn't start for about two hours. I'm hoping we can get to the pit lane before that. Yes. Yeah, so we have reserved seats? No. We're GA, so we just sit wherever. Fantastic. I think. I don't really know. We're going to sit wherever until somebody kicks us out. To celebrate the oh, no. Floridians. The 1982 winner, JLP, for a 2002 oh, right winning car, Jungle Aura DD8 Peace. Ready his first stage at the Rolex 24. They're like, stay the fuck off our paint. get all of these people out of here they like say, do they just say everybody leave and then they do it it's not new york so yeah maybe <laughs> you know you have people from around the world that are normal and then <laughs> floridians who i don't know are generally just kind of nicer so this right here is the start finish line that's why there's like a huge crowd there right makes sense up on the banking it's pretty cool it's steep i don't know what it is in the start finish i know the corner is at 31 degrees because we just googled it but um yeah this is steep. 
it's deep. Wait, I have an idea. The car is nice. We're gonna go find some seats. Yeah, we've been stuff we're try and get by turn one. Ladies first. What's up, guys? Great so we got here. seats. Hi, we're right up here. We're in like the <laughs> second to tier. Right That's the upper. We're in the two hundreds. Uh, like the second tier. Here at the which is nice. We're looking. Absolutely Looking right over the track here. Uh, so we picked, and, uh, we wanted to be like down so towards exciting. the end, down by turn this one to, to watch the carnage. Because there's always turn one carnage. Um, but I, what I didn't realize is that we could also watch um, whatever turn this is. That hairpin that goes out onto the banking. Daytona's cool because you can see the whole race track Grand Marshal from one to see. Generally they put your name on the outside. Are they um, giving which you is really, really cool. Hall or anybody and we do want to kind of explore around the infield because it well, looks like uh, a lot of cool stuff Marshals over there. So I'll show you guys what's, what's going on in that area. But um, to we're, we're going to kind of camp out up here, wait for the race start, watch the first couple of laps up here because this is where the action is going to happen. So I'm excited. We're about an hour, a little less than an hour away. We were better in our years gone by, we're at each other's throat, right? Because we were competing wheel to wheel, fender to fender for the win. Now we get drivers! Start your
supposed to get snow this weekend. Oh, because it's going to be 32 tonight, that's yeah, why. they said there might be a chance of snow. So it's currently 51, but it feels colder than that. Oh, it feels way colder than 51. Maybe because of the wind. So hopefully when we get down into the bowl, it will be a little better. But, uh, yeah. Well, Here goes nothing. Just... so I can buy one. This place is massive. Seriously. We're in another parking lot now. Subscribe so I can get one. This is just a parking lot for people who own Lexuses. He's got a YouTube show too. You should call that. Uh, judging by the look of his car, I'm gonna say I don't wanna be friends with him. There's only two Lexuses here that I like, and they're both on the track right now. Damn, bro, is that a GX470? Subscribe so I can get one. <laughs> so we're under a safety car. One of the dentists fucking duffed it at turn six. So, it's under a safety car now. Was this the second, third safety car of the, the race so far? But uh, yeah, now we're at turn three, which is the first horseshoe, with a pretty decent view here. So if you're watching this wondering what to expect from the Rolex 24 next year, everything that you see in this video I got with a general admission ticket. So, just so you know, you kind of have access to the whole damn track. I'm an Acura. 
not supposed to be where we are, but nobody's stopped us yet. So we're just gonna keep advancing. So this is the fan zone. We made it. All right. We did this with a GA ticket too. I did have to get wanded again, which is weird. I don't know why, but like uh, it's right behind the pit garages. Got a nice big TV. We got some food. We got some music. Why the hell were we sitting up there? I don't know. <laughs> we'll pop a squad here. So a little PSA. If you're gonna sit at the tables that were meant for people eating, don't be mad when I stand in front of you and block your view of the TV. Because you deserve it. Alright, we left the fan zone. We're gonna go do some more exploring. We're gonna try and find some sunlight because it's getting cold. <laughs> Really cold. The sun's going down, so all the cars are starting to look like Gen Z bedrooms. are dropping significantly now. It's cold. Yeah. Very, very cold. The New Yorkers are cold. That's saying something. This one is dope. It's getting dark. I gotta switch lenses. But we're heading towards the grandstand. All right. So we went back to the car. Justin got a blanket. I'm out of breath because I walked up some stairs. I'm getting fucking old, man. It's just before eight o'clock now. So we got some more warm layers. And uh, we're gonna watch from the grandstands now. Uh, see all the cars lit up and shit. So first I'm gonna pee. caution came out like right before the fireworks and my working theory is that they just wanted to let the drivers watch the show but there may have been a crash I'm not really sure it's tough to tell from the grandstands here but um, either way the drivers got to watch the fireworks so that's cool 61 car field and to my knowledge they're all still running
I got warm toes. It's a C8 in Sebring Orange. Subscribe so I can buy one. <laughs> we are in the car. 1 a.m. A little after 1 a.m., right? There is 12 minutes and 36... 12 hours and 36 minutes Ooh. remaining. And we are sitting on heated seats and watching the race on my phone. And we took caffeine pills that are not working. They're not doing it. They're not quite doing it. I might go to 7-Eleven and get ice cream. Ice cream. We're in the car to warm up because it's too cold out there and he's talking about ice cream. I love ice cream. So there it is. The official halfway point of the race. We are 12 hours in. We have 12 hours to go. There's been a lot of carnage. I think we're up to 11 or 12 safety cars. Um, yeah, wild race, a lot of carnage. Um, but I'm still here, I'm freezing. Uh, we have been back to the car a few times just to warm up um, and put the race on from my phone. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to spend as much time here at the race as possible because I can watch this on TV at home if I really want to. But I paid to be here, so I'm here. space in that complex right across from Daytona. I have a really good idea for an awesome restaurant. Subscribe so I can buy one. <laughs> in the car for a little bit because it's just so bitterly cold this 30 degrees here is way colder than 30 degrees in New York but we got the room we got the race going on here and uh, just trying to stay warm we'll probably head out there once the uh, catch the sunrise and then once the Sun comes up it'll warm up but uh, 
Right now, I'm just trying to not die. I'm about ready for another five hour energy, too, so we'll probably pound one of those soon.
You fucking jinxed it, you asshole! It was three seconds behind. Why? Now that would be looked at. Oh, no. He just went off the track. For Ricky Taylor, the track I think Ricky Taylor, Taylor passed him. The 60th. Oh. Rolex 24 hours of Daytona. Where are those horses? They're still fighting. There's the winner. Eric Lewis and Eric Pachulia do go out. And Eric, um, it's racing. I love it. Really? I'm so happy for you. They are climbing up the fence for Meyer Shank Racing to celebrate this win. Try to find the boss man, because this is now the second time that he's gotten to do this. Thanks to Elio Castroneves crossing the finish line. Ruoff Mortgage Victory Lane. The celebrations, the confetti is flying in the Daytona sunshine. As we wrap up the 60th annual Rolex 24 here at the World Center of Racing. I don't know why they would hide the podium behind the pit tent. It doesn't make any sense. And so you can't see it. Um, Elio Castaneves ended up bringing it over the line for Meyer Shank Racing, um, which is crazy because it's the 60th anniversary and he was car number 60. So that's kind of cool. Um, also in that car, Simon Pagano, Tom Bloomquist, and Oliver Jarvis in the, uh, the Sirius XM Acura. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of weird that they put the podium the back there. It's the like, you can't even see it. But, uh, we can hear it, I guess. Oh my god. So that's the 24th. I've been up since 6 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> I don't know how I'm even speaking English right now. <laughs> What'd you think? How, how was your first Rolex? It was my first Rolex 24 too. Uh, so I don't know races. why I'm asking him like, like how, uh, how'd you like your first race? Well, how's well, my, like, well it was my first, I guess, real, real race. No, it wasn't. Hey! It was All right, my first real official race. Is our race a fake race? No, I guess not. Actually. No, it's a real race. But I didn't do the whole weekend over there. I spent uh, like five hours and left. Yeah, this was this, this was, was a different quite, caliber. This is quite a a commitment for a, a first like real pro race. But I loved it. I'm already planning for next year. Uh, <laughs> he I made, made a whole list of things to bring I mean, next I mean, year. Made a checklist like heated of warm gloves weather, and shit. <laughs> warm weather, hot weather, to pretend to be the media. Rain weather, general <laughs> items for any weather. <laughs> he wants to bring a media bib so he can go into the restricted areas. Oh my god. You're shot, bro. Daytona International Speedway knows how to attract a sun boy. They've got a whole solar pavilion here. It's kind of cool. Goodbye, Daytona. It's been fun. So uh, hey, if you thought this video was cool, I'm going to be back in Florida next month for the St. Pete Grand Prix. So that'll be fun. So hit subscribe so I can buy one. <laughs> and, it, an Indy car. Oh. <laughs> hit subscribe so I can buy an Indy car. Not a whole Grand Prix. I'll see you next Tuesday.